to the Olympics of competitive programming. Tens of thousands of students from more than 100 countries all whittle down to the final 140 teams. This is the International Collegiate Programming Contest, or ICPC, Global Finals. Basically, it's a brain-throbbing powerhouse of talent here in Baku, in Azerbaijan. Groups of three all using algorithmic and coding skills to try to beat the clock and their competitors in solving a series of complex real-world challenges. And the brains behind the brains is Bill Poucher, the ICPC Foundation president. He's been supporting competitive learning for more than 50 years. So what, I asked him, was the ICPC's core purpose? The purpose of the ICPC is to enhance the university purpose, uh, which is to uplift every generation to build community. In our case, we uplift uh, every generation to build systems that benefit their neighbors. That's the primary reason. But there's never been a more important time to develop the next generation of problem solvers. And these are not really the next generation, they are the emerging generation of problem solvers. Because these are university students. That's right, because these are university students. They are, have been problem solving within the university environment and developing their ability to deliver for quite some time. And we're just getting them together what these students have is the knack of sizing up a problem and then asking questions that can be answered about that problem and then building systems that answer it for you so that they don't have to spend the rest of their life in the role of answering that same question over and over and over and over again. I was at the, the opening ceremony, the official opening ceremony this week, and I was struck that you said that the ICPC finals are a launch pad for contestants. Yes. And that they're entering an age of opportunity. Just explain in what way. Because there are three dimensions to success. What you can do, okay, who you know you can work with, right? And who knows you. Mm. Now look at what's happening out there, okay? This is a team competition. All right? They're problem solvers. They're meeting other people from other communities on this planet. And if they learn to collaborate and solve the problems of multiple communities, then the value of their contribution expands, mm. you see. So that's part of what I mean. We're shining the spot on them so that people see them. For instance, uh, one of the contestants 12 years ago is now the chief scientist of OpenAI. It's good news for all of us, basically. It's this. good news for all of us. Mm. When you start looking at benefit, and say you're a company like Huawei, mm. all right, you're going to look for, is it good, you see, for society? If it is, huh, that may be something that we could help make come true, mm. right? And you're in a particular industry, so you're going to ask the question, is it good for the industry? Well, if it's good for the industry, then won't the industry abound? And if it abounds, won't there be more customers coming to the industry? Do you see this? So there's a kind of virtuous That's exactly circle. right. There's a mm. virtue to this, you mm. see. And then the question is, is it good for the customer? If it's the case that you're committed to be one of the driving forces in the industry, it will automatically be good for you. So there's a value to the contestants individually, but clearly in the ICPC world, That's right. the value goes beyond. That's exactly right. It's the value of the communities that build the communities of the world. Mm. Why not free human beings to explore the world that is around them and to ask interesting questions and help them learn how to ask the questions that can be answered right now by building a system and that can be done by that system for their neighbors and for themselves, you see. But also, ask the questions that are important for us to forge forward into a happier world. Well, talking of a happier world, I saw you brandishing this earlier on. Uh -huh. This is the ICPC challenge powered by Huawei and it's photos yeah. tessellation optimization problem. And yeah. this is obviously a, a real world problem for how to design and arrange photos on a mm -hmm. mobile device, taking into account aesthetics as well. Exactly. But what's your message to those out there who, who perhaps don't get coding 
and think that AI is going to do all this for us in future anyway? Why do we need these competitions? Well, first of all, AI is going to do amazing things for us, right? But somebody had to ask the question. Somebody had to have the dream. Someone had to know what the technology could do and what it couldn't do. And if you can ask a question that can be answered by producing a system like this, then you are an expert, you see. And remember, AI advances intelligence, general intelligence for people. It does not replace expertise. It reduces the pain of developing it. You know, so an AI system is going to be whatever the AI system designer makes it. Right? So there's a future. There's a That's future right. for these, these contestants. Are the, oh, heavens. There's not a future without them. One of the things that AI allows us to do is each of us has more capability to examine a, a great library. The wealthiest magnates of the past, they could hire a an army of historians and r reference technologists and so forth to go to the library to look things up. We just go on to a service, enter our questions, and it, it looks things up and we refine it and we, we go through a process of refinement until we're happy with the result. We actually become composers, don't we? So these people are able to build systems that you can become a composer in an area of expertise that draws your interest. So how do you feel when you, you look at all these students out there beavering away feverishly? I, I presume there's a sense of real pride. Of course. And so one of the things you're going to have happen in the ICPC is it's a principle-based community that come together at the World Finals, come to Grandma's house, that's actually our, our role here. We have principles. Uh, those principles are goodwill, golden rule, put people first, solve the problems we can, resolve the issues we must, and leave all the rest to our eight billion cousins who are all really good problem solvers themselves, uh, to resolve conflict to grow stronger. Mm. You know, trust actually is stronger if you've resolved a problem with someone than if you just think that you're never going to run into a problem that might interfere with your relationship. Boy, that's a disaster, right? But my favorite one is unconditional affection for each other. Why? Well, because of the ICPC, we want to be happy together.